Woz Happening World. I'm your host, the Wizard of Woz, Benji Wozniak, and this week's episode is going to be Woz Division Part 2. So in the last episode, I thought that the fake Pietro would turn out to be Mephisto. Well, I was totally wrong, and the villain of the series turns out to be Agnes, the nosy neighbor, who's actually Agatha Harkness in disguise. Now, Agatha Harkness is one of the original Salem witches, and in the comic books, Agatha is the teacher of the Wanda and the nanny and protector of Franklin Richards, the son of Reed and Sue Richards from the Fantastic Four, and she's the mother of Nicholas Scratch. So in the show, she wants Wanda's magic, and she wants to know how Wanda got the magic. So she kidnaps the children and makes Wanda go through a memory of her past, where she goes to the night Wanda's parents die, and then she goes to the Pietro and her becoming a uh, terrorist. Now, the terrorist had Wanda touch the Mind Stone, and when she did this, a vision of the Scarlet Witch came towards her. Now, that is believed to be her mother, Natalia, passing on the mantle of the Scarlet Witch to Wanda, her daughter. Now, while this is going on, Monica is with the fake Pietro, who you find out is actually Ralph Bonner. Uh, no Mephisto, which I thought for sure he was. So Monica actually got into the hex by going through the hex during a break. But during that break, as she's walking through, her eyes turn like an ice blue, then back to brown. Now this is significant because if you remember uh, earlier on, they said that her DNA had changed. At least she believed it had changed uh, when they did the test when she came back through the hex. So uh, this is going to play a, a major part. Now Agatha and Wanda's fight spills back over into the street. And then you learn that uh, through this whole process that Agatha's ability uh, as a witch, is the ability to take other witches' powers from them if they use it against them. So she gets Wanda by having her children on leashes and making Wanda fight her. So Wanda has to use her powers against her. And Agatha starts absorbing Wanda's powers to become the Scarlet Witch. She wants the powers of the Scarlet Witch. Now, Vision comes, and Vision meets White Vision. Now, remember, none of this happened in the comic books, although the White Vision does appear in the comic books. So there's a lot about Vision that's not actually told in the movies or in the show. Vision was actually made by Ultron from parts of the original uh, Human Torch. Now, the original Human Torch was named Jim Hammond. He was a robot created by a Professor Phineas T. Horton and was a member of the Invaders. Uh, this was a group from the 1940s uh, World War II that had Captain America, Bucky, and Namor uh, as the starting members. So it's like the original Avengers, kind of. Knowing now that they're going to have Namor introduced in Black Panther 2, this could actually come into factor later on in the Marvel Universe. Now back to Wonder Man. Wonder Man is named Simon Williams. He's made up of ionic energy, and uh, at some point he becomes comatose, um, and Ultron takes his memories and his essence kind of and puts it inside Vision. So everything Vision is is basically Wonder Man. Now, Wonder Man eventually recovers and comes out of it and learns what Ultron did and that, you know, everything he has in his mind is now in Vision's mind also. And he doesn't like Vision in any way, shape, or form. So when Vision gets the mind wipe and no longer has uh, a, a, basically his own personality, he becomes just a blank robot, the white Vision, the comic book series called Vision Quest, where they try to get Vision back, his memories and his, you know, become a, uh, an individual instead of just a blank robot, this basically comes to pass but they want to put wonder man's memories back into vision and wonder man flat refuses because like he never agreed to have that happen in the first place so and the vision gets his own memories back later on so seeing the white vision in the marvel universe made me wonder if there was going to be actually a, a wonder man sighting also and rumor has it that wonder man will in fact be in the marvel universe and have a part in the vision's life so i'm actually looking forward to that see how they tie that all in no, I'm trying not to tell everything about the show because I do want you to watch it. It was really uh, a good series. I, I actually liked it. The ending was very good. Well done. Well written. Wanda does use one of Agatha's tricks against her to beat her. But Wanda does come to realize that she has to give up the hex and her, her life with the fake vision and the fake children in order to free the people who are miserable and really want their lives back. So, you know, it ends with that basically being the situation where Wanda flies off. She knows she's hated by the people that she did this to, and she's just trying to figure out what's going on with her now that she realizes that she's the Scarlet Witch. So a lot was introduced in these last few episodes. Um, they mentioned the Dark Hole. They mentioned the Sorcerer Supreme. And at the very ending, Wanda's sitting in a cabin on a mountain, and many believe that this mountain was in fact Wundagore, where Pietro and Wanda were conceived and raised. So this could be a major factor for them also. Now, as I mentioned before, 
about Monica. There was something special about her with her eyes changing color from uh, ice blue to brown. Well, at the end of WandaVision, after the credits, if you continue watching, a scroll comes and takes her and talks to her. So I believe that uh, Monica is actually Monica Rambeau, Captain Marvel. So the end of WandaVision actually opens up a whole bunch of things that can be done in the uh, MCU right now. And I'm actually looking forward to this. When Wanda goes back into the house, she has an astral projection of herself actually studying magic to be a stronger witch. And while she's doing this, her son's voices can be heard saying, help us. So I think this is going to lead into the Doctor Strange movies. Then there's special agent Jimmy Wu, who informs Monica that the reason why he was in Westville in the first place is to investigate a case of a missing person who was in the witness protection program. Now, was this Bonner? Is Bonner actually... Uh, Peter Maximoff, the Quicksilver from X-Men Days of Future Past. I mean, this is something we need to know. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So I'm going to go into Phase 4 movies and series that are being released, uh, give you the titles and dates, and I'll move into Phase 5 and give you the same. So we'll start out with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, the series starts March 19th. The Black Widow movies May 7th. The Loki series will be June 11th. Shang-Chi and the Legends of the Ten Rings will be July 9th. The Eternals movie will be November 5th. Spider-Man No Way Home is December 17th. The What If series is in 2021, date to be determined. The Hawkeye series is in 2021, date to be determined. And Miss Marvel is in 2021, also with the date to be determined. Morbius the Vampire is January 19th, 2022. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, March 25th, 2022. Thor Love and Thunder, May 6th. Now we go into Phase 5, we get She-Hulk the series in 2022. Black Panther 2 will be July 8th. Deadpool 3, October 7th. Shout out to my friend Bill Noble, who's a huge Deadpool fan. Captain Marvel 2, November 11th, 2022. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, February 17th, 2023. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3, May 4th. Blade, July 28th. Fantastic Four, November 3rd. Moon Knight, the series, to be to be announced later. Secret Invasion, to be announced later. Ironheart, also to be announced later. Armor Wars, and I Am Groot. Uh, those release dates will be determined later. So as you can see, they actually have a lot going on and coming out. It's, uh, I'm looking forward to all these. It looks like the Marvel Universe is going to expand really well. And I, I encourage you to go back and read some of the old comics. You know, read The House of M. Read Vision Quest. You know, read some old Avengers books. You'll see that Spider-Man was not even close to wanting to become an Avenger. Numerous times they asked him and he refused. I mean, my friend Leland would be the first one to tell you this. Um, so, you know, catch up on the stuff that you don't know. I mean, it's good to have like a back knowledge of what really happened, you know, in these books because you get a better understanding of the characters. So I truly thank you all for listening. I, I really do appreciate it. And I, I encourage you to tune in next time for What's Happening.